first, let's talk about ninth grade requirements in order to be promoted to the 10th grade. For promotion to the 10th grade, students must meet each of the following standards. First, they must successfully pass at least five units, including a minimum of one unit in English, one unit in math, one unit in science, and one unit in social studies. For current 10th grade students, in order to be considered for promotion to the 11th grade, you must meet each of the following standards. First, you must successfully earn at least 10 units of credit. Of those 10 units of credit, you have to have a minimum of two units in English, a minimum of two units in math, a minimum of two units in science, and then a minimum of two units in social studies, which will subsequently be the credits that you've earned prior in your ninth grade year. For students moving from 11th grade to 12th grade, students must meet each of the following standards. First, they must collectively have at least 16 units of credit. Of those units of credit, they must have a minimum of three units in English, three units in math, three units in science, two and a half units in social studies, at least one unit in world language or foreign language, at least one unit in a CTAE course or a CTAE pathway. And then additionally, they must have or earn 20 hours of community service. For students who enter the district from a private or out of county school after ninth grade, the following system is used. If you enter as a 10th grader, you are required to have 15 hours of community service. If you enter as an 11th grader for the first semester, you're required to have 10 hours. And if you enter as an 11th grader the second semester, you're required to have five hours. No community service is required for students entering as a 12th grader. Please keep in mind that community service is a local district requirement for the Savannah Chatham County Public School System. In order to earn a high school diploma, students must meet specific and certain graduation requirements. Of those requirements that need to be met, they are in the categories of required areas of study, and there are a certain amount of required units that a student has. It is also important to note that some of our school district graduation requirements are also state district requirements. Additionally, the Savannah Chatham County Public School System has their own certain requirements and I will go over them as follows. As far as the required areas of study are, for English, you are required to have four units for math, four units, science, four units, social studies, three units. However, you will take four courses, health and physical education, one unit. Again, this is a state requirement for graduation. World language, if you are pursuing a college pathway, you need two years of foreign language, although three to four years is preferred. If you decide to pursue a CTAE pathway, you are only required to have one unit of world language although two units are preferred. Please keep in mind that once you decide on a world language that you're going to select from, you have to have two years of the same foreign language in order to meet the requirements for graduation. So that means that if you take Spanish one, then you are required to take Spanish two. If you take Latin one, then you're gonna be required to take Span Latin two. If you decide that you want to change a foreign language, and for example, you take Spanish one, and then you move on to Latin one, then you will be required to either complete Spanish two or Latin two in order to satisfy that requirement. For those who are pursuing a CTAE pathway only, there are four CTAE path cl pathway classes that you will need. And additionally, for college prep pathway students, you will need six electives in that area or for CTAE pathway students, you are also required to have three units in that area. Although this gives you a total of the minimum units of requirements for graduation, which is 24, a student who successfully completes all of their classes can certainly earn more units of credit. The state of Georgia offers specific pathways. 
A career pathway is a career theme program available at most high schools. The objective of career pathways is to basically blend theory, knowledge, and real world application. There are several different types of pathway that the state of Georgia offers. Some of those examples include the advanced academic pathway, where a student has an opportunity to complete a pathway through advanced placement, the IB or dual enrollment program, and any one of the following content areas, which includes English, math, science, and social studies. There's also the world language pathway, which is completed with three units of credit in any foreign language that is found in the state list of approved courses. Please note that the units must be in the same foreign language. There's also the fine arts pathway, which consists of the sequential courses in any of the following areas, music, theater, and visual arts. Lastly, and most popular is the CTAE pathway, which stands for Career Technical and Agricultural Education. This pathway is completed with three specific courses in a CTAE approved pathway. And then our school district, Savannah Chatham County Public School System also requires one additional CTA unit or course for a total of four courses. Pathways basically allow students along with their recommended academic coursework to prepare them to continue their education at any level or essentially enter the world of work. There are several pathways offered at Beach High School. The first one is Allied Health and Medicine, Business and Technology, Entrepreneurship, Fine Arts, which includes Art, Band, and Chorus, JROTC, specifically Army, Diagnostics, Phlebotomy, and Sports Medicine. On the next slide, I will provide a brief description of each of them. This pathway is designed to prepare students with the knowledge and skills to be an asset to any type of collaborative, global, and innovative business world of today and tomorrow. The entrepreneurship pathway focuses on recognizing a business opportunity, starting a business, and operating and maintaining a business. The purpose is to engage students in the creation and management of a business and the challenges that they may face of being a small business owner will also be addressed. The fine arts pathway involves the creation, development, and production of choral, theatrical, and musical performances and art exhibitions. The Junior Reserve Officer Training Course pathway better known as ROTC, is a leadership education program. This program will help students build a strong knowledge base of self-discovery and leadership skills applicable to many leadership and managerial situations. Mastery of these standards through project-based learning, service learning, and leadership development activities will also help prepare students for 21st century leadership responsibility. The Diagnostics Phlebotomy Pathway involves the process of how to collect blood samples from patients in hospitals, blood banks, clinics, or doctor's offices by venipuncture or microtechniques. The Sports Medicine Pathway is appropriate for students who wish to pursue a career in healthcare with a focus on the muscular skeletal system, injury assessment, injury prevention, or rehabilitation and includes careers in sports medicine and rehabilitative services. This course will enable students to receive initial exposure to such things as therapeutic services skills and attitudes that are applicable to the healthcare industry. And lastly, the Allied Health and Medicine Pathway is designed to offer students the opportunity to become effective and efficient multi-skilled healthcare providers as they develop a working knowledge of various allied health opportunities. One of the most popular programs that comes from the CTAE pathway is the Work-Based Learning Program. Work-Based Learning is a federally supported program in career and technical education. 
that basically connects workplaces to the classroom to prepare students for real world careers. The basic purpose of work-based learning is to help students develop some of those essential employability skills, work readiness skills, and build a strong positive work history. It can also help them to build an important network of peers and employers that often connect the dots between job seekers and the right position. So let's talk about the qualifications of the work-based learning program. A work-based learning application. They also must have three recommendations from three teachers for the work-based learning program. They must have reliable transportation. For more information about the work-based learning program, please email Ms. Moore at paulette.moore at sccpss.com. Students also have an opportunity to participate in dual enrollment. Dual enrollment basically allows those qualified high school students to essentially take college courses while they're in high school. In doing so, they end up earning college and high school credit at the same time. Courses are taught on college campuses, some high school campuses, in an online environment and hybrid, which is basically a blend of online and in-person classes. Starting in the 10th grade, students are eligible to take either occupational or CTAE courses through dual enrollment funding. Juniors and seniors, 11th and 12th grade students are eligible to take core classes or general education classes as well as occupational courses. Financial aid is available for those students who meet the requirements through the Georgia Student Finance Commission. Students who are not eligible for financial aid to cover their dual enrollment courses are responsible for paying all tuition and any required fees out of their own pockets. Please note that the registration deadlines for our local institutions on the school website are posted and they are also on our other social media platforms as well. And lastly, let's talk about the instructions for pre-registration. Students will complete the link given to them by their assigned teacher. Each student will have the opportunity to select four electives for next school year. All required core courses will be pre-selected for the students. 11th and 12th grade students who are interested in work-based learning will have an option to select their interest in the program. The coordinator for the program will then make contact with the student. 11th and 12th grade students who are interested in dual enrollment will have an option to select their interest in the program. The student's assigned counselor for the program will then make contact with the student.